All right. Welcome to the 80 Star Basketball Channel for your next installment of the auction report and also some <clears throat> um, really exciting auctions uh, going on right now that we'll get into after we share a few of the um, items that finished uh, this past week. Um, but I'm really excited to, to show you the items we got coming up soon. So uh, let's go ahead and just get into it. Um, so first, we have the uh, 1985 Star Crunch Michael Jordan number four, uh, PSA seven. This one, as you can see here with the little red arrow, went last night for 3360 um, It looks like a pretty large jump from the last sale. However, the last sale, auction sale at least, was in May of this year. So a little while back, but BGS 8.5s typically were going for, you know, in the 35, 3800 range. So PSA 7 going for 3360 kind of makes sense right now. Uh, so moving on to the next one, we've got to actually see if we have a BGS 8.5 that finished up last night, which is the day after the PSA 7, and ended low at $3,000. You see where... I think September 8th, it was at 6,000. Actually, let's start with August 11th. It was at 4,500. Then September 8th at 6,000. Then not too long ago, a week, week or so ago, it was about almost 3,600. And then now dropping to 3,000. And I mean, this one's not bad. It's three 8.5s and a 9. So I'm not sure why it only went for 3,000. It could just be too much out there, but definitely a good buy not a bad buy i mean that's kind of what i expected it to go for six thousand is way too high for it but three thousand seems more right all right so moving on this one also went low a bgs 7 195 1984 star 195 michael jordan as you can see here the last few auctions for august and september you got ten thousand two hundred eighty one hundred seventy five hundred and forty three hundred now, I did take a look and review these other three. They were, they were not, I don't know if nicer you necessarily, because this one is a really clean copy. This one's really nice. I mean, it says eight corners, but I don't really understand why it didn't get a little higher. But this is a newer, a newer cert from BGS. And I noticed they are actually grading a little tougher lately they always seem to grade tougher than go ease up and grade tougher than ease up over the years so this is just one of those we're trying to be tougher i guess kind of things but this actually great i feel like the corners could have been in 8.5 at least um so yeah that's the only real i feel like eight was a little low but like i said the other ones that went for 10,000 8,100 7,500 were maybe a little bit better left right centered uh subs maybe a touch higher, but still that is a big drop from coming from 10, 81, 75, 43. I would like to think a BGS seven, a nice BGS seven like this. This is definitely a PSA six. First and foremost, I, I would be insanely surprised if it didn't get a PSA six when crossed. So, um, and PSA six go for like 55, 5,600. So this one going for 4,300, um, is, is, yeah, it's just pretty low, like I said. So whoever got that, um, it's a good buy in this market right now. Okay, so here we are, a PSA 7. No, obviously PSA 7s are going to be nicer than BGS 7s typically. Um, this one, this one's good. This is your PSA 7. It's good, got good top-bottom centering and, you know, left-right centering. It's always going to be, you know, a larger left edge on it. But this one is nice, the nice PSA 7, couple corner, top right, lower right, but still. And if you notice the PSA 7 195s at least are are, are now settling into that $9,000 range. You've got 8,500, 9,000, 9,000, 9,000. So, you know, you got four straight sales right at around 9,000. So I'd say that's the, the cap on that unless it starts going lower, but that's, that's at least good news that it's kind of staying at a certain price. So at least if the next one came up and you got it for 9,000, you'd feel pretty comfortable getting it for anywhere from say 85 to 95. So moving on. BGS 9, 117. I've been following these and I saw that lately they have starting to go down some. Uh, you've got one at 3960, then 3750, then 2938. 
than 3,500. Again, the 2938 one that was that had an 8.5 and then three nines, and this one is your quad nine with 9.5 centering, so it should go a little higher than that. But at 3,500, that's good range, I would think. 3,500 is pretty good for that. Um, so next up, we've got a couple PSA 6 288s, and these have definitely gone down. I think I only really did a screenshot of the um, last few auctions, uh, but the ones, if you go back a little bit further in August, they were up to about, to about 14,000, 13,000 and 14,000. So it's dropped from 14 to 13 to 11 to 10. And this one at eBay went for really low at $6,900 because we had another one that same evening ending at PWCC. That I think the bid was already up to 7,500 anyways so before this one and that's the nice thing about ebay you don't really bid until like the last minute and see what you get so but uh the pwcc one right here ended at 8100 so still let's factor in seven thousand eight thousand um even at just eight thousand if this seven thousand dollar one never happened that's still a couple grand le less than one not even a month ago so um so yeah things are definitely settling all right. Um, and then lastly, on the auction report, the ones I was taking notice of was the PS PSA 7 1985 star last 11. Uh, looks like it went for 2202. And like I said, the last couple, the last auction was in August and went for 2700. So settling down a little bit there. Oh, I'm sorry. We had a couple more, a couple more like ones that actually went, you know, higher than comps, the ones you don't see every day. Um, you had the BGS 9.5, 1985 star slam dunk, super five by seven, number five, Michael Jordan, nice 9.5. And this one went for a little touch over 10, 10 grand, which is just big time. Cause I think we had just had one, the one before it on September 10th. I want to say, if I remember correctly, it did not have a good picture. It just had a dirty case, you know, it go, goes to show you definitely clean your cases and clean them up as best you can before they get scanned at um, a consigner like four sharp corners or probe stain or something like that. So definitely um, went for a higher number, but a lot of the reason I think so too, is uh, the one I'm going to show next is a pop three, which never comes up. And I think the last time it came up was 2018, but you had a BGS 9.5 1985 star slam dunk supers five by seven, number one group photo. And like I said, there was only a pop of three on this for BGS 9.5s. So yeah, it went for um, 12,000, 12,100. So the only problem I had with this one was eh, it's a 9.5, but uh, the centering was a nine. So the centering leaves a little to be desired on the, well, at least left, right, or I guess you could call it top bottom if you're looking at it the correct way. But still the surface, the corners, the um, the overall quality of the car just looks great. So don't really have a problem with it being a gem mint, but still I can't, I do, when I do see it, I think of the centering being off. Plus, thank goodness it doesn't have that little print dot on it that a lot of them do. All right. So, <coughs> excuse me, that's it for the auction report, but now the exciting part, we can look at what's coming up next. Um, so, all right. So, uh, first let's look at, well, let's look at golden cause golden has a lot. Golden had a lot of cool stuff. Um, so you've got the, um, I think I actually, how did I detail? I think I detailed this last week um, or last one, but anyway, I'll go through it again. Um, you got in uh, about two days, um, got two, two golden auctions ending soon. You got one in two days, then the other one in 18 days. But the two ones I'm watching from the, the one ending this week on Thursday is the um, authentic altered 195. I mean, it could be, it's probably, I would guess they're saying it's trimmed um, since it barely has got a left and a right on it, but it is appealing looking because the, you know, I mean, they're really never centered. I think there's, I've only seen, there's like one or two that are really actually legitimately centered. Um, but uh, this one still, even if it's centered on because of somebody making it that way, uh, still looks good. So might, might do pretty well. I'm just curious how it'll do. And you got a BGS nine, the future. These are always hot. I'm curious to see what this one will do. Uh, like I said, I follow the BGS nines in the future, um, number 10 and the uh, number four pro stats car from the Eddie six star 10 card subset. Um, so for the elite golden auction, <coughs> excuse me, the elite auction ending in another 18 days, you got a lot of 9.5 gym mint star copies. 
You got the uh, collegiate stats number two from the 86 star MJ subset. You got the uh, 1986 star best of the best. Number nine, Michael Jordan, BGS 9.5, also out. Um, then you got another BGS 9, <clears throat> excuse me, 117. You got a, you got three 101s, um, I believe, in this one. You got a, a well-centered little diamond, but well-centered BGS 8, 101. Um, corners were good. I think it was, yeah, I think it was surface was the only Let's look at it. Let's look at it. Let's see. Yeah, surface is the only thing really. See about down here on the bottom right. Let's see if it's anywhere else. A little bit on the top left. But yeah, it looks like the that's the main reason for the drop in grade is this what could be um I guess I mean every time I see this, I don't know if this is true or not, but every time I see this, I just assume this is from um uh screw down holder damage. Yeah, it may or not, may not be, but still a, and we got one print dot there, but still look at the centering. The centering is nice. I actually go a bigger picture. That centering is nice. Uh, so I would say clean off the case and then it'll look pretty sweet. So could be a good buy. I think, I think it is a good buy personally. Um, I would, if I was in the market, this is one I would be definitely uh, looking at. However, this uh, bothers me a little bit, but eh, I could try to look past it. All right, moving on. So we said we had three 101s. That was the first one. And then the second one, you've got a PSA 6. Let's take a look at that. Uh, ooh, a, this is a full-size PSA 6. So kind of what you'd expect with the 6, the corners. Corners aren't bad. Corners look pretty decent. Um, yeah, it's a. I think it's a good PSA 6. Plus, it's a full-size PSA 6. If you don't know what I'm talking about, there's... um. Most of the 90% of the 101s are cut factory short um, due to where they were placed in the top left center of the uncut sheet. So most of the time, um, it won't have much bottom. Really, in the tops will be a little shorter. So, you know, you don't see full sizes too often, but this is pretty sweet. Full size PSA 6. And then the last one they have is a auto one. Where is it for the 101s? So yeah, obviously not a good looking card. Um, not sure how it got, what is that? Sun damage, colorless, I don't know, but it, it's kind of pretty ugly 101, but I mean, all 101s, I wouldn't call them ugly. They're all look, they all look nice in their own way. And you got a, a good auto, it's a 10 auto. And it's a thick pen and some people like the thick pen. I pers personally prefer the thinner, the thinner pens, but I don't really like the thick pen, but uh, this was not for me, but it uh, definitely could be for others. Other people I know like it and love the, the thicker auto. So be interesting to see how that one does. Let's look at some of the other ones on Golden. Let's see. Well, yeah, they got, a, like I said, they got a ton. So look at this. All right. So this one's really sweet. You got a BJ, you got a, a GAI a factory sealed bag. B, uh, sorry, uh, graded 9.5 for the Gatorade bag. I don't, I don't see these often. I've seen, I see nine bags sometimes from, from GAI, but I rarely ever see a 9.5 bag and plus on one so popular as the Gatorade bag. Um, this one will be a fun one to watch. I don't think there's really any other comp to go by. So if somebody really wants it, they're going to get it and they're going to pay for it. So be interesting to watch. Um, you got a BGS 9.5 Gem Mint Pro Stats here. And you got the complete 85 star Gatorade Slam Dunk complete set. I believe it's uh, either 8.5 or higher. I'll take a quick look. Yeah, you got 9999, 9, 9, 8.59, 8.5, 8.59, 9, and a BGS 9.5 for the Barkley, and the Jordan is a BGS 9. So that's a cool pickup right there. So um, Again, that one's ending in about 18 days. Let's go back to where we were. Jeez, there's so many, so many things are golden. Okay, so we just looked at the star tent, the Gatorade set, and you got a BGS 8.5 all rookie team, BGS 9 all rookie team. Now this one's a cool one. This one's this one's a bigger deal than it actually looks right here. So I'm gonna show it off to you. The what's cool about this one is there are only three. I believe there's only three BGS 9.5s of this card. 
and there's low 70s, high 70s, I'm not sure exactly, of a BGS-9. But uh, what's interesting about this one is, I'll show you, look at those subs. 9.5 centering, 9.5 corners, 9.5 edges, and 8.5 surface. Now, typically the surface on these is always like an 8 or an 8.5. You don't find many that are even a 9. Um, you got a print dot there. And I think usually it's, yeah, right around here, there's like a little line um, in the center of the NBA logo extending out to the end of the basketball, usually that you see on these. But that's, that's kind of typical of them. Um, but look, the corners... Those corners, those, and the edges are usually, you know, not that great. But look at this one, and that was nice. That one's nice. So that's one of the best um, um, all rookie teams I have seen. So be interesting to see what that one does. Let's go back to where we were. Sorry if I'm making you dizzy here. This one's just really exciting. Then you got a BGS nine point five, the future number ten, banging card. You got a BGS 9.5 Gatorade, BGS 9.5 Court Kings. Come on, it don't quit. Uh, PSA 6, uh, 84, 85 star Court Kings, 5x7 Michael Jordan. BGS 9.5, that's the new. Then we have the, uh... oh yeah, then you got this, uh, this card. I've seen this card come up every so often. Uh, this is really nice signature, 86 star Michael Jordan, number nine, Michael Jordan sign card, BAS authentic. I'll see how it was. It's a nice card. You got the 9.5 Olympian, number three. And you also got the 9.5 85 All Star from the 10 card set. Whew, keep them coming. BGS9, Crunch and Munch. Let's check it, take a look at these subs. Yeah, we got 8.5 centering, nine corners, 9.5, 9.5. Yeah, yeah, sweet. Another BGS nine there. So I'm curious what the BGS nine will do. Uh, if you notice, though, it was a PSA nine recently. PSA nine crunch. That jeez, I think it sold for like forty forty thousand dollars or something like that. Um, I don't expect this to to sell for anywhere near that, but because there's only like. A couple, like maybe no, it's, I think it's only a population of one for a PSA nine crunch and munch. Uh, so, or, or PSA, I forget, is it one or three, something like that. But uh, I think it was one. I think it was a pop one. But yeah, that's uh, and it's kind of the reason why it went for so high. Not necessarily because you're buying the card, but and yeah, you can probably find a BGS nine or nine point five that looks just as good because it was an older graded PSA nine. Anywho, that doesn't matter. All right, so we already looked at the one hundred ones. I look at the 117, you got a BGS 9.5, best of the best, collegiate stats. Yep, we already looked at those, so a lot of cool stuff coming out of Golden. Definitely go ahead and check out Golden if you're looking for those gems. All right. And then next up, we got, um, we'll take a look at Fanatics, uh, previously known as PWCC. See what some of the items I'm watching here. Uh, you've got, <laughs> yeah, you see here, you've got, this, you've got a PSA 9 all-rookie team. So that's pretty, pretty cool. PSA nine population one of four. There are no PSA tens of it. I can be honest. I like that BGS nine more than the PSA nine, but that's just me. But the PSA nine is obviously going to go for hella more. But um, but if it were me, I'd take card for card. I'd take that BGS nine. All right, the big daddy. We got the BGS eight point five one oh one. And this, by the way, this this uh, PWCC auction is ending in five days. So on this coming Sunday. So uh, this eight point five little looks like it's a short top, uh, yeah, a little shorty on top, but kind of overall centered when you're looking at it. The only problem with it is, well, first off, big deal, nine point five corners, nine point five corners, and I mean the corners do look good, but. Uh, surface now look at all these little spots up here and then look at the bottom look at all those little spots yeah is that I mean yes yeah, so I don't know what this one's go for this one actually sold a couple times uh, during the I don't want to say hype but during the come up let's call it the come up 
um, for, for this year with the 101s. And um, this car did sell a couple of times. I think it sold, it sold recently for 63000 on PWCC via the fixed marketplace. I forget where it came from. It was originally um, through PWCC Fanatics or it came from somewhere else and somebody just sold it on Fanatics. But still, the most recent sale of this exact card was $63,000. But I got to be honest, I don't see this one going past 55. That's just me. It's just my guess. I don't see it going past 55. All right, so next up, so yeah, like I showed you, PSA 9. <laughs> uh, not as nice to me as the BGS 9, but it will probably go for double, triple the amount of the BGS 9. And you got another BGS 9.5 Court Kings. You got a BGS 9 Gatorade. BGS 9 85 All-Star. BGS 9 Last 11. All right, so that's it for PWCC, but definitely something to keep an eye on. And then uh, eBay, show you a few things from eBay I'm following. All right, you got a one ending tonight, uh, 86 star Court Kings, BGS9, Michael Jordan. I think the, la the, the last one did about 2250 uh, last week because now they, these are starting to pop up a little more now since. They became the new hot card, it seemed like. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah, um, yeah, 2475 I think this will probably stick around that price. Um, that's, that's just my guess. So if you want it, maybe throw in one more bid. You might be able to get it. It'll be just 9.585 Rookie of the Year ending tonight. And you got some, uh, some bags I'm watching. I usually watch them if they're still, I know they're probably going to definitely go up way higher before the end of the auction, but I like to, if they're low in costs, uh, I like to keep them on my watch list just in case I might get lucky and scoop one up for, you know, less than 40 or 50. So I got Kings here, got the Clippers with Walton on the front and the, uh, the 8384 star Phoenix Suns bag, which um, everybody always wants that to get a good centered Larry Nance copy which could be in there. Most likely not. I haven't really ever seen many centered ones, if any at all. So I don't know. don't know if that's the bag to have it in it, but uh, it might. You got a couple more 101s. You've got this 101 ending in two days from Big Boy, Big Boyd's, Big Boyd Sports Cards, three on eBay. Take a look at it. This one's got some killer subs. Corners nine, edges nine point five, surface nine, but the centering uh, leaves a lot to be desired. It is uh, slightly top heavy for that, but there is barely a bottom on it, so barely a bottom. So, and left right badly centered, but everything else looks good. So, yeah, if that's the one, then that could be the one. We got a. Uh, Dominique rookie here from 1983 star. They got a few PSA sevens I saw, so I decided to put them on my watch list. Uh, so you got Dominique PSA seven. You've got the John Stockton rookie card PSA seven, and you've got the Akeem or Hakeem rookie card PSA seven, all from four sharp corners, all ending on Sunday. And then I noticed this too. Actually, uh, I noticed uh, MC underscore Sports Cards on eBay. They've been uh, they're the ones who've got a two 101, two or three 101 auctions going on now. I think it's just two, though. And um, they've been having some 101s lately at auctions. I did notice, too, something cool. If you guys want to check them out, the uh, 8485 Star bag sets. They have a, looks like they've got a bunch. I don't know if it's somebody's complete set they're selling, but they're selling. I saw a bunch of uh, team sets from 8485 um, Raw. They're not in the bags, obviously, but they're kind of like this Chicago Bulls one. Um, but they're selling a bunch of team lots. Uh, so you might want to check those out. I believe those all end this Sunday, but um, I didn't put them all on here, but there is a, I got to, I just saw them actually about an hour ago, but I got to take another look at them and maybe put a couple on my watch list. Um, you've got another 8.5 star court Kings, 84 star court Kings, 26 CK 26 Jordan currently at $7,200 with the five days left on Probstein. And you got one of the one of my favorite cars, the uh, 83 star number 26, Larry Bird. It's in a BGS 8.5. Yeah, so basically probe scene, 
MC Sports Cards and Four Sharp Corners at eBay you want to take a look at for this week. They got a bunch of star stuff. Uh, this is just a few things that I, I'm watching. You got a Gatorade 8.5, and here's the uh, they've got a BGS 7.5 101. Uh, a little surface though. Nice, actually, I think it's a good looking 7.5. Got a nice top bottom, left, right. That's a good looking 7.5. Yeah, so definitely watching that. Yeah, and then they have the they also have the PSA seven. Here's the PSA seven. Yeah, so PSA seven uh, one hundred one, a uh, little little more top heavy than I'd prefer. The centering, but good corners, good surface. That is definitely one to keep an eye on. With the last couple going for around fifty one thousand, so will it end at forty? Will it end at 45? Will it end at 50? We shall see. A BGS 7.5, 195 there. And then we're going to, what's that? PSA. Oh, yeah. PSA 8, Star Crunch and Munch. Not many of those. Also, uh, four sharp corners. I'm sorry, Probe Scenes. It just says sharp corners. So, Probe Scenes got a PSA 8 Crunch. That should do well. Oh, yeah, and then if you want a PSA 8, you know, Dave here has got his PSA 8, and this is just a couple things. I like the, you don't have to worry about these two, but, uh, oh, yeah, and that one ended. Okay, so, so what did we do? We got eBay, we got PWCs, we got Golden, so that's um all, <laughs> that's a lot, that's all. <laughs> I wonder how long this video is right now. Anywho, sorry for the lengthiness of this video. There's a, There was a lot to look at, um, so obviously uh, I'll do another um, auction report after, uh, another five or six days. So around this time next week, uh, I'll fill you in on what ended, what the prices went, and then we'll take a look and see where the the golden elite auction, um, where that one's at, because that'll be another week and a half uh, once I do a video next week. So 18 days left on the golden auction. Um, all right. Well, great. It was uh, great spending time with you today. I hope you uh, enjoy what you've heard. And uh, until next